Okay, I think we will start now. Maria, are you there? Can I present you? Hello, Oksana. Hello, Maria. Uh, Maria Clement is a project manager from Ateval, from Valencia. And today we would present together this uh, webinar. So the floor is yours. Uh, when you want, Maria, you can start, please. Thank you. Thank you, Oksana. Uh, hello, everyone, and welcome to the fu Exploring Funding Opportunities for SMEs in Research, Innovation, Technology Transfer and International Expansion webinar. And my name is Maria, as Oksana said, and this session is designed to support the SMEs to help you explore the, all the opportunities available right now to accelerate your innovation and your internationalization in your companies. So before we start, uh, I'm just let me provide you a brief overview of the agenda. We're going to start explaining the Intransit project, and then we're going to talk about uh, some funding opportunities like Gemstone and Up to Cirque. We're going to explain Interreg Europe, Life Program, and Eureka funding support, and then we will talk about cascade funding calls and other funding opportunities and at the end we will have uh, questions and answers. In transit a project aims to strengthen the resilience of textile, aerospace, advanced manufacturing and construction SMEs towards a greener and more digital sectors with social business models a mix, and a mix of support mechanisms. These mechanisms include individual assessment support and alumsan and coaching to ensure their consolidation and sustainability. The project has a total budget of 5 million euros, from which 3 million are being distributed using cascade fundings for the SMEs. And then uh, another 1 million is being used to provide services to the SMEs to thrive their digital and green transition over a period of 36 months. In transit also has a strategy, a strategy to um, boost the competitiveness of the European SMEs for the transition and it's based on four key pillars. The very first one is incubating, that it's a series of joint services to support SMEs in identifying opportunities, needs and marketplace points and connecting different, different sectors by fostering cross-sectoral learning. Uh, then we have uh, Innovate, in innovation support through personalized advisory services, including a self-assessment and a circular digital diagnosis, as well as co coaching and training at strategic levels, depending on the business model. Develop, uh, it's based on the development of transition projects for SMEs with financial support through cascade fund financing, and it's complemented by a coaching service too. And then there's a scale up to the market with additional customized services through European structural and investment funds or other public uh, sources. Regarding the on-site activities, uh, learning expeditions are key events organized to support community building and networking across the key sectors of the project. They consist of cross-sectoral visits to industry-leading companies and top research centers, followed by innovation management workshops to facilitate these cross-sectoral new circular business models. Um, the first event took place in Ljubljana in Slovenia on 18th and 19th of January of 2024. The second one was in Seville and Cadiz in, in Spain on 22nd and 23rd of February. 
and then uh, the next ones will take place during November 2024, the next month. And the first one will take place in Barcelona on the 12th and 13th of November, and the other one in Athens on 19th and 20th of the same month of November. Also on May 23rd of this year, in transit held its second matchmaking and info day event in grass. Regarding the developed mechanism, it is focused on financial support to third parties and more specifically on the support of development projects, including coaching services, as I said before, for developing innovative and sustainable business models. The total number of SMEs to be benefited by develop uh, funding and the coaching will be 60, 30 in the first call and 30 in the second call. The target group includes the innovative SMEs active in the four sectors involved in the project, aerospace, construction, textile and advanced manufacturing. The topics will start with a group introduction followed by individual coaching supported by specifically design tools that includes building a business proposal, building a market analysis, building a strategic plan, organizing an integrated product and process approach and developing commercial capabilities for new markets. Uh, it is expected to launch the second call of develop on 4th of November. It's not confirmed yet, but we expect to launch it in this date. The submission deadline would be on 16th of January 2025th at 5 p.m. Central European time. You can submit your proposals through the website of the project and the eligibility check will take place in January. The evaluation period will be and the ethics review will be in January and February. And then the final ranking list and the announcement and notifications to the SMEs, to the winners, will be February 2023. That same month, there will be an agreement signature and on March 2023, it's expected to start all the projects. Now we're going to talk about other European projects. In this case, Gemstone aims to support manufacturing companies in their green transition. The funding opportunities under Gemstone are named Train and Explore and are open until December 2024 with regular cut-offs. On uh, one hand, we have explored that its focus on supporting SMEs participation to business fairs and international events in, in some target countries. It has a, a thousand five hundred euros of lump sum and right now it has up to 40 SMEs funded. On the other hand, we have train that it's more focused on facilitating connections between training providers and SMEs for skills related to green manufacturing. The lump sum will be 2,000 euros. And again, it will be open until December 2024. Here you can see uh, how to apply. You can find a guide and if and just in case you're interested to, to apply in these calls. Let's continue with another project. This is up to CERC. Is this project aims to accelerate and scale up the transition of European small and medium sized companies on different sectors through circular economy. Okay, this project offers circularity assessment, uh, customized advisory, uh, e-learning modules of circular economy, uh, financial support up to 50,000 euros through open calls, and, mem and a membership ambassadors group with a catalog and success stories and a LinkedIn group. 
uh, the project's objectives are demonstrate a holistic approach uh, that is focused on mobilize the SMEs to embrace this sustainable innovation as an opportunity for growth and provide them access to some different skills and development and support implementation of, of the transition projects uh, with financial support. Then another one will be increase the efficiency of the EU innovation support ecosystem, uh, demonstrating measures on how to make a better use of the results you already have, and reach out more efficient SMEs, uh, make use of the of other strengths you have established and establish. Uh, closer connections with the stakeholders. Uh, then improve the readiness of the EU business advisors to support SMEs in adopting circular business models, products and processes, innovation by offering EU business advisors and training. And the last one would be establish and maintaining a network of up to CERC SME ambassadors which is that the ambassadors from up to CERC will share their experiences and advice across the entire Europe to inspire and encourage other SMEs to make this journey, this transition. Up to CERC second call will open in the spring on 2025th. So here you can see the different links to their website to apply and to apply the second call. And also you can check the terms of the first call so you can have an idea in case you want to apply. Now in Interreg Europe, for SMEs looking for a cross-border collaboration, uh, this program provides funding and opportunities to exchange the knowledge in European regions. They support inter-regional cooperation projects by bringing together policy organizations from at least three different countries in the 27 European member states and also Albania, Bosnia, um, Moldova, Montenegro and I don't remember all of them. These are a few more. Uh, but well, uh, for four years, they learn from each other and work together on a shared policy issue. The lesson they learn lead to better regional policies and a more sustainable economic, social and environmental impact. This is, you can see here the link just to have more information about it. Now we're going to talk about the LIFE program. This is another great option. This program supports environmental and climate projects while supporting SMEs and startups to develop clean tech solutions and bring them to the market. And since 1992, this program has helped around 5,000 projects across the European Union and in other countries. And it's open until 2027, so there are lots of opportunities here. Now we are going to talk about Eureka. Eureka is a platform that helps businesses, researchers and governments collaborate internationally on research and development. Through the Ministry of Funding Agencies in your country, they give you access to this public funding for the R&D projects. They can help you also uh, find international partners, build the project consortium that you want, and choose the best program for you. Uh, Eureka supports you as you access new markets by providing tools and advice for expansion. And the Eureka contacts in your country can advise, support and guide you from the development of your project idea to its commercialization. At this moment, there are three different open calls that will be closed soon. The very first one is Eurogia call 
for projects. It's open until 15th of November and it's a call for international low carbon technology R&D projects. It's more focused on clusters. Then we have Glo Global Stars Japan call for projects. Uh, it will be open until 4th of December and it's a call for international R&D projects with Japanese companies. And then there's another call in France and Spain for R&D projects that will be open until 29th of November and it's a networking project. Other opportunities included in this Eureka program will be in Hawaii and this is focused on supported innovative SMEs going global this SMEs can apply for 60,000 euros to assess the viability of, uh, of a research or commercial ambitions uh, in different international markets. And then we also have Eurostars, that is the largest international funding program for SMEs that are wishing to collaborate on R&D projects with other project partners from SMEs, universities and research centers. Um, you, the partners have to be from uh, one of the 37 different participating countries in this, in this project in Eurostars. Um, then in the Eureka website, you can find all the open calls and the details of each one, just if you wanna take a look at uh, the different opportunities you have you can have and now i i let the floor to oksana oksana Oksana, are you here? Can you hear me? The problem is that she's muted. It seems that there's a problem with yes, her. Yes. I, oh, I, okay. I saw the sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So, um, yeah, thank you, Maria, for presenting the first opportunities. And also, I would like to uh, say also um, feel invited uh, as we are hosting the event for, uh, for learning uh, travel to Barcelona. And also, I will follow now with the presentation for the funding. Um, yeah, as, uh, as you see, there is a, a some cascade funding, which you can find in funding and uh, tender opportunities, and uh, which is here uh, is um, good uh, when you are searching, you have a filter so you can see which fund is better uh, for which application and which kind of industry the best for you in this case, and also which is um, uh, maybe a recommendation to look uh, every, I don't know, every two weeks or so, and maybe there are coming some new calls for which will, which can be interesting for you. Next slide. So uh, now we would have um, the Euro cluster again, which is uh, good news. Uh, this was uh, uh, open for two days ago, uh, the Euro cluster with the available budget of 42 million. Uh, these are new single market call for proposals and will be a joint cluster initiatives uh, for Europe recovery. And uh, uh, this project will launch calls for proposal as we did have 
previously for cross-built and your robustics, which was quite successful. Um, this will start with the, with the calls in 2026, so stay tuned for these calls. And um, yeah, at least 75% of the grant must be directed by the Euro cluster as a financial support to the third parties uh, via cascade funding by means of open calls. So overall, I would say from uh, the budget point of view, each project, uh, what we was having as previous uh, or are still running, it's over 1 million. And then we have half of the budget for calls, uh, two calls, and then this budget is uh, shared for different um, different sectors, different industry, it can be textile, can be construction, can be uh, advanced manufacturing, it's a different project. So it's a very good opportunity for the SMEs uh, to, to bring to the market an innovative product or a good prototype, and as well, um, in this, uh, it can bring a good service, and as well, uh, there are some uh, could be some internationalization missions. Actually, we are having by uh, Eurocluster um, the Australian mission, for example, for SMEs and the uh, Riyadh, um, uh, Saudi Arabia, or other market. Okay, the next one. Another opportunity is the EIC accelerator. Uh, this is, um, is mostly uh, for the startups and SMEs, and uh, its uh, scope is to develop and scale up innovations, and as well um, with the potential to create new market uh, or disrupt existing ones with TDL 5 and higher, or 5 from 9. Um, in this case, we have uh, 2.5 million in grants and up to 15 uh, million in uh, of equity investments in coaching, mentoring, and networking. So overall, the, this is a part of Horizon Europe and um, the support for the SMEs or for startups will be um, in the sector will be will improve uh, innovative sector or game changing product services of business model that could create new market or dis disrupt the existing ones in Europe. So, if somebody from SMEs are interested to or have an ambition to commitment to scale up, so this is the perfect opportunity. And now the next slide, we will look how we can um, apply for this. So, as I said previously, you have we have a budget of 2.5 million for innovation activities, and uh, which will be completed on a duration of the 24 months. And um, also the process how you should uh, submit your proposal. Firstly, you should write your proposal, a short proposal, uh, then prepare a full proposal for 12 months. Or you will have uh, enough time to write this proposal. And um, at the end, you will have uh, to pitch your innovation face to face to the jury. And uh, yeah, it's uh, the the deadlines or the possibilities when you can apply for it it's continuously uh, with the cutoff dates here are some examples for example there was one closed the, with the interviews now is between 3rd of october and 2024 january 2025 and the topics for this uh, opportunity funding opportunity is innovative solution in aerospace advanced manufacturing and sustainable practices. So the next slide, please. And this is a uh, um, AIT manufacturing scale up fund. So the, uh, this is coming from um, AIT manufacturing, which is managed by European Institute of Innovation and Technology, AIT. And this program supports innovative manufacturing projects, including those in the textile sector. So those SMEs 
who are interested uh, and uh, working uh, with textile products or producing uh, textile, then it could be something interesting for you. And it's also um, for um, uh, startups as well, not only for the SMEs. Um, the topics in this case would be sustainable and innovative textile manufacturing and as well as circular economy initiatives in the textile supply chain. So here as well, the calls uh, can vary. Um, they will be announced in, in this web page, but uh, there will come some open calls also through 2025. So you can watch this. The next slide, please. Right, this is an um, opportunity for, for aerospace companies, for SMEs, uh, offered by European Space Agency and Business Application and Space Solution. Uh, so in this case, uh, it's a funding for innovative projects that utilize space technology and services in various applications, including aerospace. The program aims to stimulate the use of space data and technology to address societal challenges and support economic growth. So um, in this case is development of uh, the scope will be development of aerospace application that integrate in the space technology and project focused on satellite data application for aerospace related innovation. So they are open calls periodically and uh, with specific uh, deadlines which are announced also in LinkedIn or in the web page of, of ESA Space Solutions. But uh, you can, you, you, you can uh, uh, look for more information on the social media or in this web, web page. Next. Equation fund funding call. So this is call um, opening also will be announced. Uh, in this case, uh, we did have funding for textile. We did have funding for aerospace. In this case, we have some construction construction uh, funding and innovation in manufacturing. Um, also, you should follow <laughs> all the calls. You should follow the the Cohesion Fund uh, page where you can see when the call is opening and it will be announced. And also you can check how this um, application process is looking by if you are eligible or not, um, a template for project proposal and also more information regarding the application or the future calls. The next one, please. <laughs> Uh, there is a question about <laughs> sharing the presentation. I, th uh, I think after after the call we can share it, but also you can find it on YouTube later on on, on other uh, social uh, media channels. Okay, great. Thank you. Uh, the next funding is uh, your regional development development fund. This is um, a fund which uh, supports a, a range of projects. Uh, which is um, uh, focusing on sustainable practices in textile, advanced manufacturing and construction. So this is all, 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 uh, all sectors in one. Uh, there will be a different deadline because this is a regional. So um, there will be some announcement on the European Regional Development Fund page. And um, yeah, some region will announce this uh, region means country or um, authority, regional authorities. But here you, you can see also the web page is linked, so you can later on uh, look for the opportunities, especially on this one. The next slide. So that's why I was mentioning this. Um, regional or national uh, funding opportunities. So each country has, of course, a budget uh, for a project. In this case, we are um, from Spain. So I would give you only some examples 
it mustn't be like in your own uh, country or your own region, but such kind of uh, funding opportunities you can find for sure. Also in Italy, in France, in Greece and uh, all other countries. In this case, um, you should look for specific calls which are um, coming in 2025 maybe. And uh, because this is depending also on national budget, so not always is the same, like all the country the same. And uh, yeah, for example, here we have a, a project which is in Spain, Center for Development of, in, it's, it's just an example and uh, what kind of project and for what applications. Center for the Development of Industrial Technology. Uh, and there are some programs which is supporting the creation of growth of technology based companies, uh, providing funding for business plan uh, focused on innovative products and processes. So uh, innovative business projects with a target project for technological capabilities, uh, for example, in advanced manufacturing, which will be also a part of uh, the and sustainable pra practices. So the call will be open through the website, for example, in this case, uh, CDTI, this is a local uh, Spanish uh, center for technology. The next, next example I can show you. Next is uh, CEDAR is a support program for development, SMEs in Extremadura. So this is a regional as well, but in the region, not only the uh, city or the country, it's a uh, part only like Catalonia. Or... So in this case, Extremadura region by providing uh, financial support uh, for project for innovation, sustainability and job creation. So you, you can uh, look as well in your country. Um, it's about uh, sustainability sectors, which uh, many countries I think are, are doing, uh, European countries and also are looking forward for funding opportunities for textile and construction sector. As well in this case, uh, R&D support, so financial assistance for projects that involve research and development and particularly those that have uh, that enhance eco-friendly practices in manufacturing. So the call for the uh, regional or local companies, SMEs, um, are also announced um, uh, in, in the web page of the Interreg Europe for Extremadura, the next. So I think this is the last example for construction sector and uh, energy efficiency. It's also a Spanish uh, funding opportunity and you can find it in the uh, uh, in IDAE, which is um, Institute of Diversification of uh, Energy, or the Energy, Energy Efficiency, yeah. Funding for renovating existing buildings to meet um, energy efficiency standards, including the use of sustainable materials and technology and uh, financial support for new construction business or project that uh, priority, uh, prioritizes energy efficient designs and sustainable practices. So as you saw overall, nearly all are uh, funding opportunities which are prioritizing uh, sustainability, circular economy, and all the innovation and development for the uh, prototype services, products for textile construction and advanced manufacturing sectors, which is European and also regional. So I think now uh, this was the last slide, if I'm not wrong. And uh, yeah, you can find all the information about in transit. Uh, on, uh, on the social media regarding the, if somebody came later on, uh, regarding the presentation or today event, you would have it in YouTube also, and also on, on in transit uh, channels. And now I think together with Maria, we would answer 
the questions which are open in the chat. Thank you for co-presenting with me. <laughs> and sorry for the technical issue. No, don't worry, Xana. <laughs> so uh, now I will open the first question I think I answered regarding the sharing the presentation. The next question, is there any restriction about present some project on different calls? I mean, if we present some project and win the calls, there is a limit total amount. Yes, uh, Julia already answered this question and uh, that each project has its own limits and depending on the program. So it's possible to submit a proposal on their different goals. OK. Um, are there, there more questions? So also to say that the schools are always, you need to keep an eye because they are coming and going. So the presentation of proposal for any opportunities is, uh, yeah, sometimes one month or two months, it depends on, on the, so you need to look really or to stay tuned uh, to to apply for those interesting proposals or to, to opportunities. There's a question, Oksana. I will read it because um, I did have experience that the um, when you put it in YouTube, you can't see the chat, so I will read it. Uh, can a Portuguese company apply to a Spanish project, for example? It or? depends if it's a European project or it's a national project or national projects. Uh, probably you cannot participate or regional ones, but if it's an European project with Spanish associate clusters or, or companies, yes, of course you can apply. Okay. So there is, um, please see, the is there an upper limit on grant amount and over which period with your cluster grants? You cannot benefit in more than 60 combined. It, this is about the next euro cluster which um, I think I will answer this with your permission, Maria. Okay, uh, this uh, Euro cluster um, is still on, uh, is still open. So uh, for the calls, the information about how these calls will look like or how is the, um, the overall amount of the possible um, budget received as a beneficiary will be still uh, agreed. So there is not uh, at the moment precise information how much a budget will get uh, the future calls. But yes, in the past, there was uh, such a uh, that is, is such a rule that you can't benefit more than 60 K combined on different calls on, on, on different kind of calls. No, if it's innovate or if it's uh, uh, green and digital, or it depends what is uh, your plastic uh, at the end looking like, what rules are inside. Okay, more questions? Maybe a special question for a sector or If there are no, no questions, then um, I would like to thank you all for participating today. Also, Maria, for excellent um, sharing the information about uh, opportunities. And I hope you have a lot of uh, proposal and uh, you are looking forward to see all the possible opportunities as well as European market and as well as regional. And wish you all luck with all. Yes, thank you so much for participating in this webinar and 
we hope you to you apply to our second develop call and see where we were pleased to see your projects there and your proposals. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye.